welcome to Let's Play Cat of Illusions with Mickey Mouse. I be Erfat, and with me again is Mr. Turbo. Hey all. Please ignore any difference in life and score you may see. This is purely a figment of your imagination. Oh, no. Conspiracy. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, the next level. Um, I don't really know what to describe it as. It's a bit of a mishmash. Also, that guy is important. I'll explain it in a second. First thing, secret marbles. These are really useful later if you can get a chance to use them. Look, an easy A. <laughs> so yeah, this level... No, the start of it is very different than the rest of the level. If you play this on practice mode, I think this is the only bit of it you see. I think the gem is actually at the end of this um, part of the level. You don't even have to fight off. Yeah, this part of the level... It's obviously not as straightforward as, um, you know, any other level, where you're basically going from left to the right. It's like always head uh, right, but... Uh, uh, the thing with these guys is that if you fall down in these pits, you don't die. You just get put into those, uh, pits with all those, uh, bony pits. Um, but you'll come out at one of these guys, depending on which hole you go down. Um, the trick is knowing which hole to go down, and I don't believe I do. Died for those bad things. Uh, I mean, I never died for those bad things. Who's killed for that? Or the fish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the only pit you can fall down and the only guys you need to go on. There's actually no other collectibles in the level of hard mode, so it's not worth the exploring. Which kind of sucks. I think there's. If you notice the alcove at the top, I think there is. Uh, a life there on normal mode, but I don't remember. I'm not playing this game for twice. <laughs> but yes, now we come to the inside of Ancient Ruins. I don't know where it's come from, but hey, it's a bit Ancient Antes... An... Aztexia... This... <laughs> or something, I don't know. I don't know, this is why I don't know what to call this level. It's kind of... This side waterfall ruins. As that is descriptive as I can make it. These bats will be the same as you also in the next part. And you will see why. Also tiny little bats will jump. They're not that bad, but the key controls aren't that solid. Yeah, they're a bit floaty per se. As you will have just seen. Uh, yeah, he's a little slidey, so, which is why you'll see me turning backwards to basically stop myself from getting it. It's not terrible, and, you know, the controls are so slippery that you have little control, basically. Well, Anyway, this next bit is the bit which I reckon is the hardest part in the entire game. If you so much as touch that water, not only will it send you reeling back in the level, you'll also take damage. So it's in your best interest to uh, avoid it at all costs. I want to blur that back out, because he has killed me on numerous. Also, jumping is a little bit quicker than walking. Worth noting. Not by much, though. Uh, Not by much, but in this bit of the level, anything makes a difference. Yeah. Although, really, I w really wish uh, there was a run button in this game. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Wow. Well. Even though, even though Mickey is strutting, strutting his stuff, it's not doing him any good. Yeah, I probably should have thrown a marble there, but that really difficult to avoid taking the damage there. Though, I will be from Marvel. These buggers, so they don't cause me problems like this. Now I'm just going to wait a second. I don't want to take him here. Getting up on there actually requires a bat, which is not useful. But, thankfully, we made it. Yay! Boss time! 
I don't actually ever remember this boss. I think I remember him now. Hmm. This thing will just spawn a weird frog enemy, and you just have to pick it up. Oh, well, that's simple, I guess. Not that bad. Especially... So you tried to do uh... I oh. thought he'd land slightly closer, so that was kind of my bad thing. Yeah. I think the throw throw by him isn't that uh They're not that effective. Too useful, though. yeah. You gotta watch out for that mirage in that though, because that will screw you up. But that's also the best point to pack him because he's not jumping about. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that obviously he's just standing in one place. Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad that <laughs> Yeah. I think this game I think this game really doesn't definitely has problems in terms of, you know, um uh, kind of like wavy it has wavy difficulty. Oh definitely. Because like, this not... is the only the third level and it was quite a task and a half trying to get past uh, get through that ha last last section or whatever, so But yes, up to the next floor we go. Ooh, Ooh magical staircase. staircase. But what's behind this door? You'll find out next time. Yes. Toodles. <laughs> Laters.